so guys uh, let's go back and uh, keep working on it uh, if you go back to the basic product categories you may get this error uh, it's just saying that this is not defined because according to my system my system has already logged out and this is trying to retrieve the ID of the currently logged in user all right so the right thing to do is to actually try and uh, log in again to go to a uh, home page remember if you don't get this error it means you are logged in click on login and um, once we're logged in we get back to ref category all right login has happened and we're back to ref categories all right so it works now now so far if you've noticed something you see that somebody can just keep increasing visits anyhow with by just um refreshing and of course we've not even um, handled signups so um so that's obviously because um, we just allowed it to happen so we need to mark this system so that if somebody uses this um, link url once on their system they're not going to be able to use it again all right for um let's say a month or let's say a year all right so the way we're gonna do that is to come to our ref categories remember the ref method in your ref category then um, somehow uh, after we have re re recorded the register the visit we can then use cookie use cookie to track the visit if this person has used if, if this computer has used this link before we don't want the person to gain anything for referring anybody you understand we only want to um, increase the referral count or sign up count after if the person is using if this system is using this URL the first time all right so we're gonna use cookies uh, to do that we have to go to Laravel's website and um, get cookies so um, cookies are attached to responses in Laravel uh, not exactly the way you use it in normal PHP. It's C. It's attached to responses. This is the sample I copied from Laravel website. Um, so your response is usually whether it will redirect. I think here it should redirect to. It should redirect to route. And that route is login. So when someone visits that any of the refs link, it should take them to login page for them to to log in or sign up. I think sign up should make sense. Sign up. We'll have to figure out what that is. Uh, to figure out which URL was used for sign up, we have to go to resources. Uh, we have to go to routes web.php. Um, I think I think it's sign up. Okay, let's find out. We can find out by just doing this this sign up or register okay this doesn't work so we can do register all right re register works so uh, we get back to this place and say register so after we've recorded everything about the, the re referral then we can redirect the person to the register page and then since we're redirecting the person we can now have uh attach our uh, um, cookies oops i'm trying to put them on the same line so it makes sense to you all right so we have them right now on the same line so this is a cookie so the way we just attach cookies the way we attach cookies in laravel is the same way you do attach with so this is a cookie now we can attach multiple cookies see so um what i'm trying to do what we're going to save is we can save the referral user referral user id referral user id is going to be the user id of the referral that's um that's what we got got here referral user id 
this number here stands for the how many minutes it stands for time in minutes all right this number so this is three minutes that's how long this cookie will last all right so but we want it to last um 60 minutes that's one hour times 24 which is one day times 30 which is one month now and then we're gonna times it by 12 which is one year so we want it to last for one year once this cookie is created um it's going to stay for one year so anybody that uses any referral url on one laptop uh or, or one phone or one anything that, that referral url will not work again on that phone or system for the next one year the reason is that we're trying to avoid spam somebody just sitting down in some way and keeps registering new uh, referrals all right so there we go another thing we can do of course is to have um, another cookie that says referral um, another cookie for referral um, category I'll call it referral category ID call it ref user ID ref category ID alright so same thing it lasts for one year so now we're now tracking the referrals what, what we're going to do in the next video is to actually create these referrals we've not created them we need to uh, um, we need to um, check if they exist before we do certain things here that's what we're gonna do in the next video